Chemcon asked me to say in two minutes, why authorization and why now? And I will tell you, the reason is simple statistics. The number of uses affected is growing. Why is it growing? There's 150 substances on the candidate list at the moment. There will be more uh, by the end of the year. Simple mathematics, based on other EU restriction legislation, will tell us that there's at least 3,000 different uses of chemicals that you cannot easily substitute for that are affected by these restrictions. Which means some of you in the room have a use which is going to be affected by authorization within the next couple of years for sure. You think you're not affected? Somebody has already made this mistake. If you look on the consultations on DHP, you'll find that the Car Manufacturers Association overlooked that they had uses which were not covered by the authorization request of the manufacturers. So don't think you're not affected. It's just a matter of statistics. Is there an excuse? You have no excuse anymore. You saw this morning that Christel showed us that the process for choosing substances has become clearer and therefore more predictable for you. And I think this is true. So if you get involved, you know uh, uh, you are going to know what to expect, both for your processes, but perhaps think also commercially. When is the last time you licensed the use of a particular substance in a particular process? Maybe that substance will wind up on the candidate list. So maybe your contracts for the license need to be changed. Secondly, the first decision on authorization has already been taken. Everybody's seen the Rolls-Royce decision. I think it's fairly clear how such cases with very technical applications are going to be decided. And you can inspire yourself on that. Uh, the bigger upstream use, I think the first decision is forthcoming. I mean, maybe Tim will uh, speak about that, or maybe not. Uh, but certainly, uh, you uh, will have no excuse very soon to say, oh, I don't know how to do it, there is no precedent. The dossier drafting is becoming easier, and so prices actually are falling. It's becoming cheaper to do, and you may find that uh, you have more people you can speak to who can help you. On the other hand, you may need more time for certain special cases, like endocrine disruptors or sensitizers or reprotox substances, for which, for example, in the part that I know, the economic analysis, we don't have models yet to see what the cost is. So authorization is critical, and it's critical now. Thank you.